right, so today we're looking at a 2014 uh, Nissan Altima. The problem with this vehicle is uh, it'll sometimes long crank um, and start, other times it won't start, and other times it starts totally fine. Um, so let's see if it's gonna do our long crank here. Of course, it starts right up. There we go. That's kind of what it does. Sometimes it'll start, sometimes it won't, sometimes it kicks. It kind of does a bunch of goofy stuff. There it fires right up. And there we just got no crank, or sorry, crank no start. So, uh, I think what we're going to do first is uh, hook the scan tool up, scan it for codes, and uh, go from there. Alright, we got our scan tool here. We got uh, one code in the ECM. Let's Go in there real quick and have a look. And we have a P0340, which is a cam sensor uh, circuit code. Um, We'll probably look up what that code means, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we've got, uh, looks like we've got an issue with the uh, cam sensor. Um, so we'll have a quick look at service info, and uh, then I think what we're going to have to do next is uh, scope cam and crank on this thing, just make sure everything's lining up properly, make sure the signal looks good, and uh, see if we have any issues there. So we're just looking at the code set criteria here for this P0340 code that we have. Um, according to uh, service info here, uh, DTC detecting conditions are um, the signal is not sent to ECM for the first few seconds during engine cranking, uh, signal is not sent to ECM during engine running, uh, or signal is not uh, in the normal pattern during engine running. Uh, so that kind of confirms what we got to do with this thing. We're going to have to scope um, the cam and the crank sensor uh, just to make sure that uh, nothing's abnormal there um, or that the signal isn't. Uh, uh, missing. Um, so we'll go and get the scope hooked up and uh, have a look at the uh, patterns. Alright, so we've got our scope hooked up here. We have uh, our cam sensor there. Uh, we're looking at the signal on the cam sensor. Uh, we have uh, injector control, uh, coil current, and then uh, our crank sensor down at the ECM there. Uh, I'm just going to go and crank this thing over and uh, see what we're missing and see what that crank signal looks like. Alright, so here we have our uh, scope shot of this vehicle while it's cranking. It um, doesn't take very long to see uh, what the issue is here. Um, first, I'll just go over what each channel is. Uh, down here in the notes, uh, I have it uh, marked down. Uh, so red is uh, coil current, uh, blue is the cam sensor, green is the crank sensor, and yellow is the injector control. Um, now we can see right here, just gonna zoom in on it here. Um, our crank sensor looks, or sorry, our cam sensor looks okay here. Um, but as it goes along, uh, we completely lose the cam sensor. It comes back for a split second, uh, and then we lose it again. Um, and then it comes back and it, it stays there. Um, now that, uh, that's definitely our issue there. It looks like that uh, cam sensor is uh, the culprit here. One thing that I noticed that uh, kind of confirms that this cam sensor is no good. Um, I'll show it in the next video clip. It was actually very, very bizarre. I, I can't say I've ever seen anything quite like this. Um, and the, uh, the next video will uh, kind of explain what I'm talking about. Uh, before we move on, just one quick thing I wanted to mention. Um, one thing that I did uh, off camera in the uh, previous clip, um, I just checked the 5 volt reference to the um, cr uh, cr sorry, cam sensor. I also checked the ground as well, um, just to make sure that they were okay. Uh, and then from there I went to check the signal coming out of that uh, cam sensor. So uh, just, uh, yeah, just as a note, just always check your, uh, the 5 volt reference circuit and uh, make sure you got a good ground as well. Uh, one really weird thing I just noticed here, I'm going to see if I can do this with the camera back far enough. <laughs> you tap the cam sensor and it activates, it, it creates a signal, power steering uh, fires up and it actually starts firing some of the 
coils and injectors. I'm just gonna do that again here. And you see it just fired the coil there. There again. And I'm just I'm just tapping this sensor. So that's that's uh, kind of interesting. I've actually never really seen anything quite like that, but interesting. All right, so I'm just going to uh, try and explain uh, what we saw in that last clip. Um, we have a picture here of a cam sensor. Um, it actually gives a good uh, description of what a, the inside of a cam sensor looks like. Um, now please excuse my drawing. I'm just going to try and do this on the fly here. The um, picture I found didn't have a tone wheel, so I'm just going to try and draw one. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty terrible, but uh, it's the best we're going to get. Okay, so um, we all pretty much know how this works. Every time um, a tooth passes the uh, sensor, uh, produces a voltage on the signal circuit, um, which then goes to the uh, PCM and uh, tells it where, uh, what position the engine's in. Um, so what we think was happening with this one, um, on the video you can see it was flatlined at zero and then when we tapped it, um, it went high to uh, five volts and every time we tapped it, it would kind of uh, drop out. Um, so what we think happened was the reluctor just happened to stop with a tooth over the magnet and when we tapped it um, we, we think there may have been a crack or something in one of these circuits inside the sensor or in the circuit board itself and when we tapped it we closed the uh, the crack or we closed the circuit and uh, it went high to uh, 5 volts and as we kept tapping it we would break and, and close and break and close the circuit and that would kind of uh, create an artificial cam signal that the car uh, mistakenly took as the actual uh, cam signal and um, tried to st tried to start the vehicle or tried to uh, uh, turn things on. You'd get the uh, power steering whine um, and you get the uh, injectors firing and the coil firing. So kind of a bizarre failure. Haven't really uh, seen one like that um, or at least not manifest itself in that way. Uh, so in the end, uh, the uh, cam sensor fixed this vehicle and the uh, customer was happy. If you like this video, please let us know by following us or liking us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And if you want access to more in-depth uh, training videos, please visit our website at www.autoaid.ca. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.